Hello everyone. So today I have another trailer park build for you. Okay, I'm using the word trailer park very lightly with this build. I... Lack of a better term, maybe trailer village? <laughs> I am calling this a country trailer park. And that is because I have modeled it on a kind of backcountry road where maybe a family just added a bunch of trailers to their property. And that's kind of where I'm going with it. So, what the backstory is on this one is maybe the land's been in the family for a while. And you're looking at maybe grandkids, great-grandkids, that type of thing going on here. So, they all decided to stay living here on this property. And... A few have updated their homes, a few have not. So as we view each home, I'll kind of let you know the backstory that I created for it and go from there. So this build, as you can see, does take a whole lot of terrain manipulation. And with that being said, I have playtested this. It does work out pretty well. However, your camera might bounce around a little bit. And if you really get sick and tired of it, you can flatten this. You're going to have to take out a whole lot of landscaping, though. So when I playtested this, it wasn't too bad. Like, I was able to go in and play without a huge issue of the jumping with the bottom two. The top ones had almost no jumping around. And I haven't tried this as an actual, like, residential rental lot. I just had a sim go in and, you know, play around with the different trailers. It was, it was one lot. So, you know... I understand if you decide to flatten it, but all of the rocks I put in will have to come out, etc. There, there's some other things that will have to come out too, but yeah, I would recommend if that drives you crazy, downloading one of my other trailer parks that are not so mountainous, <laughs> for lack of a better word. Okay, and another thing too, I edited this video while I had to sit in on like a work meeting. So I was pretty much looking for save, you know, pop-ups and just areas where there wasn't anything visually going on. I did miss a few apologies, but... I have had some things going on this week, and I'm trying to catch up, so I wasn't able to go back through and edit again. This is an hour and almost 10 minute video, so I'm hoping you grab some popcorn and a drink, because you're going to need it. Uh, but it's a fun build, and I really enjoyed doing this. When I started this build, I had a little bit of a different thing in mind. I still want, it, I sat down wanting to do a trailer park. And then as I'm doing it, I'm going, oh, let me add this and let me add that. And I realized very quickly that this build that I was working on was not going to be a trailer park. So in a future video, you will see me building on this lot and then it will move to Del Sol Valley because it started very quickly turning into a more luxurious home in the hills 
neighborhood and not a trailer park. So yeah, I started all over and did this build, but look for that one coming soon because it will be soon. <laughs> not too soon. I've, I've got to finish up a couple things yet. And I do have more throwback videos coming, so make sure to look for that on Tuesday because we skipped this week. This week's video, or next week's video, will be a community center. I think that's what they, they're called, from growing together. I just blanked. I think it's, it's labeled something else as a lot type. But I built one in Brindleton Bay and just never got the video up. And I really like it. So I'm excited for you guys to check that one out. And yeah, so that's kind of the plans for the future right now. I've talked about it in a couple other videos too of things I want to do. But back to this build. So this trailer here, I pictured as... Grandma and Grandpa. This is either the people who bought the land originally or possibly their children that st or a child that stayed, you know, got married and they the couple stayed on the property. Maybe the siblings moved away if there were other siblings. However you want to think about that. But this is Grandma and Grandpa. They are the community garden people. They are the, you know, come and hang out with us on our, you know, lot people. So I made this a little more traditional. I did try to stick to mostly for rent and base game for this, this whole build. That being said, I couldn't resist. I am in Brindleton Bay building this, I did throw in a few cats and dogs things. So this trailer definitely has a few. There's a pet bowl. There's some dog things. I just, I pictured them having a dog and I couldn't get it out of my head. So they have a dog and I believe even the bedroom has, has some cats and dog stuff in it. That being said, the bedroom, I did not record, and though I thought about going back to record it, I realized pretty quickly that this was going to be a long video anyway, and I was going to have to cut out some things. So, I decided not to go back and redo it, and just let you guys see it in the pictures. It, it turned out cute. It's It wasn't anything fancy. You know, I've done the, this type of bedroom before, so I do hope you like it, though, because, I don't know, I find it cute and very homey. So, the other thing with this trailer is just a one-bedroom. It's a small trailer. I am trying to stick to kind of a standard size with most of my trailers, but if you know anything about trailers and how they work and how they have worked... Trailers have not always been one size fits all, so, and they still aren't. There's very small trailers, there's bigger trailers, and I, I'm using the word trailer here, but really they're, they're mobile homes, manufactured homes, and this lot is kind of filled with a mixture of both. There's this one that I'm going to consider maybe a older you know, what you really consider a trailer. And same with the next one. That one I kind of consider a trailer as well. And the one after that would be more of the updated manufactured home. And you'll see why when we get to it. And then we have another one that uh, it'll be the double wide at the end. That is... I'm considering more of a manufactured home and not necessarily a trailer. Uh, if you don't know the difference, a lot of the times the manufactured homes now are just put right on basement or foundations. I've lived in one that had a basement. Uh, 
they're they're really nice and they're not mobile so they don't really move so this is like trailer park mobile home park is that difference so when you think of a trailer park you think of the ones that have the wheels attached and can actually be moved fairly easily you know easier than a house anyway so that is what this one and a couple others in here are are these ones that you could picture the wheels underneath and the other two are more of the updated versions that we see more often now as regular homes so not in a trailer park so here i'm doing some landscaping i am going to be very honest with you guys I did not show the majority of the landscaping for this build I showed some here at the beginning but it just got to the point where I'm I was just doing so much so I skipped some of it you can see there kind of a cut and did a few things I, I wanted to kind of get a feel for how I wanted to decorate this park so that's why there was some landscaping there and then I jumped to building again <laughs> so this was a labor of love this build took me probably two weeks now that being said I did do the uh, crystal creations builds during this time as well so it's not like you know this took me a full two weeks of a few hours a day but it probably took me over over 24 hours of work into this and I really do love how this thing turned out I will probably I, I don't know I probably play in it at some point not right away I, I have some plans I've talked about this before about restarting a legacy build and or a legacy game legacy build a legacy game and I am thinking about having them start out in a trailer however I'm thinking it'll be something that I stay in as kids and it may end up being that luxury trailer park just because there's you know a park and everything right there um, so if you haven't seen that build I'll link to that one I feel like I might have said that already. If I did, and it's already linked, I won't link to it again. No, I'll link to it again because I mentioned it. But, yeah, bear with me. It's been a long day. It's 6 p.m. And I've been up for 13 hours already. So, yeah, it's been a long day today. And no, I didn't spend all day building. I did some of the day building and finishing a few things up, but I actually started on a house build this morning that I've been wanting to do, so that's coming up too. It's a modern mansion, so I wanted something different. So anyway, this trailer here is kind of your cheapy rental trailer has you know three bedrooms two bathrooms but the finishes are cheaper so this i kind of pictured as your you know maybe it's uh mom and dad had kids young and they couldn't afford to update their their trailer so <laughs> They, they got one of the older ones with all the, you know, the cheap finishes and all that stuff. So, that's kind of the story I'm going with here. That being said, it's still a cute trailer. I still like it a lot. And if you like the layout, you can easily upgrade, you know, the interiors eventually. So, that's, you know, that's always a plus. I also like it just it's up on the hill it's got some great views so you know there's a benefit and 
really, I just tried to make it, you know, kind of feel like it's a hodgepodge of stuff. And, but a lived in loved home. And I'm hoping I pulled that off with this one. And I will say, I, I have been struggling with these more base game builds, but it's a good struggle. It's, it's easier to build with things when you have unlimited options but when you limit the packs, it definitely makes it a little more challenging, but in a good way. And as I said, I mean, this was limited really, for me, three packs. So it wasn't too bad. I believe the only trailer I put, like, pet stuff in is the first one. So the rest of them don't have pet items. But there's room for them. So... Like this one has, you know, some room. You could put a cat in here or a dog in here pretty easily. So the other thing that stinks with having limited packs is clutter. We have some. I really wish that we had a little more base game clutter. But I get why, you know, they, they got to make their money. So you got to buy the clutter kits and things. If you are somebody who likes a lot of my builds and you're downloading them, you definitely want to get the Everyday Clutter Kit. I use that one all the time when I'm not doing certain pack builds. And I think a lot of other builders use those as well. So that is definitely recommended. The Bathroom Clutter Kit is another one I use quite a bit too. So... All right, so here you can see I'm just kind of getting these kids' bedrooms figured out. In my mind with this family, they were two kids. And just, you know, basic stuff. They could be twins. That would be kind of fun to play as, you know, twin kids in this one. But really, you know, they don't have a lot. They don't have a lot of money. But they, they have a few things. I didn't leave them with nothing. So they're, they're able to, to have a little decor and a little, a little this and a little that. <laughs> All right. So bathrooms. Originally, I was going to go through and cut these out just because they're bathrooms. I don't usually do a whole lot with them, but I completely forgot until this moment right now that I was going to go through and cut more of this out. I did cut a couple out. I know that because I don't think I even recorded one of them. I think I just went, okay, I know this is going to be an extremely long video. And even though you guys have said you will sit and watch them, I don't think you guys are sitting and watching them, according to my analytics. <laughs> so... What I think I'm going to try to do is go through also and especially with these trailer park builds because they're a little easier is separate the video into like trailer park, trailer one, trailer two. So you can jump to another spot if you decide you need to leave or whatever. So you can come back and check it out later and easily find your spot. Probably won't happen right away, but hopefully I'll get to that sooner than later. All right, so here again, just kind of sticking with that hodgepodge of stuff in their home. And, you know, kind of think maybe they were hand-me-downs or yard sale items, that type of thing. Because, you know, they can't afford a whole lot, but... They make it work. And I love it because that really is the, you know, struggle of the American person right now. It's, you know, we got to have stuff, but we also have to be able to afford that stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I picture them as maybe uh, yard sale people. Okay. 
And there's nothing wrong with that. I love a good yard sale. I really do. And part of that is I grew up with not a lot of money. So yard sales it was. So the other thing with this is like this bathroom is decent size, but I didn't want to make it opulent. So did this kind of standard thing with this one where I've been putting the tub like that to separate the sink and the toilet. I like it. I think it's a cute look. And it works in so many builds, especially these trailer ones that are a weird length. So, or a weird width, not length. So, yeah, I think it was cute. All right, and then here, just kind of playing with where this is going to land a little bit. I waited until I had all of the landscaping done around each trailer to move it up. So, you know, I had to go back through and fix a couple of things eventually. But it all worked out in the end. I'm finding doing it that way makes my life a heck of a lot easier because I'm not trying to fight with landscaping. <laughs> so building tip. If you are building a lot that has a raised foundation of any sort, trailer park or not, no, do your landscaping first, then raise it all up. I also do play with the terrain a little bit after all this. I just figured, let me get all this figured out and done and I'll mess around with the terrain later because the buildings will stay. They won't move around. So that is what I did. All right, so here I wanted to give them just a simple like outdoor area, but they have two porches. So, you know, eating spot in the back. And eventually, I think I just put a little seating area and maybe a marbles thing. Because, you know, I have the for rent pack in this. So I might as well use some of the kids stuff, right? I really didn't use as much as I thought I would from the for rent pack. The more newer trailers, I used a few more things just because that has a little more modern look to it, I guess. It's like traditional, but it's modern. It, it just worked. <laughs> so we're going to go with that. So yeah, just kind of finishing on this trailer, the, the outside, putting a roof on it and making it look like a trailer. Mobile home, whatever you want to call it. So the other thing I really like with this is it just, it does blend in quite well on this lot. Oh, I can't remember what size this lot is, but it's in Brindleton Bay. It's one of the bigger lots. And I think it might be the 64 by 64, but I can't remember for sure. And... It just, it blends so well into this area. I really do like how that turned out, so. All right, so as you can see here, I'm on another trailer, and this one is going to be your very updated modern trailer. And it is only a one bedroom. So I pictured either maybe one of the grandchildren inherited whatever trailer was here, had some money, wanted to be fancy, so they have a very modern, updated trailer with lots of, you know, fun bells and whistles. And this could be designed for a woman or man sim. It would work for either. It would work for a couple. So I kind of designed it, though, with a very young, modern person in mind. So here I did create kind of a, I guess, seasonal room off the trailer. And I really like how that turned out too. I didn't want it to look like it was part of the trailer because it's not. It's something they added on after buying the trailer. <laughs> it's not part of it. 
So you'll see I do kind of keep that theme with it, the outside, the outside, oh, I can't even think, uh, siding, that's the word I'm looking for, the siding is still there in that room, so yeah. The other thing, I struggled a little bit with this fireplace, but I like how it turned out. So it works. I'm not quite sure what was going on with it, but I'm like, you know what? It looks good looking. <laughs> so here I decided to expand the uh, the porch area a little bit and shrink that green or greenhouse, the porch down that covered porch. But you can see what I mean by it. it's a little more modern looking. And again, we're going to say maybe they inherited a very junky old trailer so they moved in a new one don't ask me how i'm gonna say as someone who does have some professional knowledge of how this works there may have been cranes involved okay because <laughs> they're not getting a truck up that hill to put this in so i'm going with cranes but yeah, it's The Sims. It, it just appeared, okay? It was magic. All right, so here you can see I used the four rent counters. And they, they just, like I said, they have kind of a, a modern, sleek look, but not too modern. And that's what I, I kind of liked. I didn't want to go with that, the modern cabinet that's in the base game. Because I don't like the end pieces for that one for most builds and I didn't want to go that ultra modern this one I still wanted to have kind of that homey feel feel to it you know they grew up with family they grew up kind of in a close-knit community so I wanted that to reflect the interior of this one as well so the other thing with this is this is kind of your maybe party house that's why I said I kind of designed this for a young adult who likes more modern things. So keep that in mind as you're watching this. It's definitely, it's not a family home. One, it's a one bedroom. I mean, you could have a baby here, but you'd want to move pretty quickly. But I tried with this trailer park to kind of put in a few different options so that if you wanted to play this with the four rent pack as either living there or owning it and living here, you'd have some options for styles at least. And so each trailer is its own thing. And part of the reason this video is so long because I designed each trailer individually. I know like in a lot of my parks I've been kind of copying and pasting and then leaving some blank but every one of these trailers is furnished and different so again that was because of the theme I was going for with this this isn't really a trailer park um it's just more of a you know community lot type you know feel to it I guess I yeah I don't even know what to call this at this point Country trailer park is is what's going to stick. There are no, like, major amenities to this one, technically. Like, I didn't put in a gym. I didn't put in a public pool. There are gardening areas anybody can get to, so that might count. But other than that, there is a pond to fish so there's that but yeah really there wasn't a whole lot of extras I put in here that being said like I said grandma and grandpa's house has you know a few things people can get to you know there is some gardens I think there's only one house that doesn't have an actual garden with it, like little gardening beds. 
I don't think I put any in there. But it's just one. And that one was designed kind of for either a young couple or an older couple. And we're just going to say they don't like gardening. <laughs> okay. That's how that's going to work. But here, like I said, this is kind of your party trailer. You know, they're, they have this seasonal room because they wanted an actual dining area and bar area. And then you have, you know, your grill that'll be out here. And a hot tub. And no, yeah, I used this one, not the, <laughs> not the base game one. I thought about putting the more modern one in there and then realized that that is not a pack that I'm allowed to use. So I put in the for rent one. All right, and as you can see here, I just put a couple of planning beds and, you know, lounge chairs. That's about it. So you can take those planner beds out of here if you don't want them and just have that as nice open space to do whatever you would like with. But, I don't know. I thought, you know, maybe they want something there. It's there. It's available. And this one I did real simple landscaping around. I say simple. I fought with some of this. But I think it looks really cool. I believe I go back. It's not recorded if I do. And kind of add a little more to it. Just to... You know, once I figured out all of the terrain stuff. So, yeah. And I don't know why I went through, did the outside stuff, and then came back in to do the bathroom. But I did. <laughs> so, this bathroom is a little different. Um, it's not a bad layout. Just a different layout. And I like it. Again... You know, thinking more of somebody who's more into modern stuff. They like to go out. They like to entertain. They like to party. But maybe they work hard, too, and they're a professional of some sort. So I decided to stick these mirrors in the bathroom. Just because, you know, this might be an area they come in and they're, okay, what does my whole outfit look like with my makeup done, my hair done, you know, all that. So that was the mirrors. All right, so into the bedroom. I won't do anything too crazy here. I do add quite a bit of clutter, but I didn't record that either. So if you notice, there's clutter on the shelves that go in. And you're wondering what the heck happened there. I cut it out because this video, after I sped everything up and before editing, was... I want to say almost two hours long. And that was before I realized I was missing the final trailer footage. Like, I had it. It was recorded. I just didn't put it in. So, I had already edited this down by the time I realized that I was missing that footage. And when I put it in, sped it up, and looked at it, we were back to, oh, just over an hour and a half long video. <laughs> so, yeah. It, it might have been a little bit less than an hour and a half. Not exactly sure. But, yeah. I was just kind of like, yeah, this is going to be fun. So, I'm just happy right now my voice is holding up. If I sound tired, sorry. It's just, it's, again, it's been a long day, but I only have so many times I can, you know, kind of set aside to record right now. Hopefully, very soon that will be changing, and I'll have a little more flexibility with my recording. So, the other thing is, again, I wanted to keep this trailer kind of that black, white, gray, you know, modern look. With maybe a little bit of color, color here and there. Um, but 
I think it turned out pretty cute. Cool. Whatever you want to call it. I like it. I would probably move a sim into this trailer and play it because this this one's cool. If I wasn't doing like a family. If I was doing a family, I'll be in the double wide, okay? That's where I'm going. <laughs> All right, so you can see here, the stairs didn't quite work once I threw everything up. And I knew that was a possibility with all of these. But I got it figured out. And again, I think it works. I think it looks good. A little different than what I've done in the past. Not perfect by any means, but not a bad job for my first major, like, Playing with terrain tools build. So I do want to do a few more. The modern house that I'm working on, I started doing some terrain stuff with, but decided not to continue that. I think between doing this one and then the other one I had started, it was just okay, I need something nice and flat. To build and that's a larger build anyway so that's what I did here I was just kind of playing with the rocks trying to figure out if I could get them to stack up any fun way I will say that was probably one of the hardest parts about this build was looking at the terrain that I put in knowing I'm gonna play with it a little more later and trying to put in a few landscaping items, but it worked out in the end. All right, so for this trailer, this is the trailer that I designed more for like either a younger couple or a senior couple. And I do this front and I'm like, oh, this is so cute. This is adorable. I change this front. It, it completely changes because I decided for this trailer to get online and take a look at some modern you know manufactured homes and how they were designed and I ended up finding a kitchen I absolutely loved the design for and I put it in here and I'm gonna try to do kitchens like this a little more often I like how they look they work well in trailers you'll understand here in a minute and I just I like it so look for more kitchens similar to this one um, also I am going to start looking more at modern trailer builds if you've watched any of my videos and I believe I mentioned it earlier I have lived in manufactured homes and in trailers and it's been a few years and they have changed so much just in the time frame of when I lived in the last one in I believe it was 2017 and it was brand new to what they do with them now. I thought mine was pretty fancy. It had a nice open floor plan. You know, a lot of like fun modern accents, wood flooring, at least, you know, in the kitchen area, like, you know, the vinyl wood flooring. But it just amazes me what they do with them now. And part of me really wishes I had gone into design for trailers. I really had thought about it because I saw that I saw it improving so much when I graduated from college but we had the recession and nobody was hiring so there went there went that one and I'm talking about the great recession not the COVID recession yes I'm I'm that old okay <laughs> but I have lots of wisdom when it comes to sim designing to share, okay? All right, so anyway, but you can see this kitchen. I just, I love it. I love how it's laid out. I, I just love that kitchen so much. So 
year or two just kind of, you know, throwing in some stuff. And as I said, I wanted this to be something that would work for maybe a younger couple or an older couple. And I, I just pictured a couple in here. I don't know why. I mean, one sim can live in here too. <laughs> but that's who I pictured were couples. Okay. And I think it just, it's cute. It's cozy. It's homey. It is a smaller trailer. But that's fine. As I said, they do come in different sizes. I think a lot of people, when trying to build for The Sims, panic about getting them the right size when it comes to trailers. And really, they all come in different sizes. So don't don't be too crazy about it now if you're actually trying to design a real trailer using the sims then you need to be a little bit more picky i believe one square is one meter just you know just so you know i have actually thought about designing homes using the sims like actual homes <laughs> just to see what would happen but I don't have anybody that'll let me do that. So it's never going to get built. So, it, you know, the test won't work. I do believe there are actual, like, architects that will use Sims to build. Might have been Sims 3? Sims 2 or 3? I've heard that with. So just a little bit of, you know, industry knowledge, I guess. All right, so this one I did clutter up a little bit. Added in, you know, our nice little rice cooker, slow cooker, whatever you want to consider that on the counter there. Put in another boot rack. We need more of those, like just different types of those shoe racks because... They look so similar, and I'm like, I want one in the front, and I want one in the back, but I didn't really need them to match. Just saying. All right, so here again, putting in another bathroom. Yeah, at least they're they're quick. They're pretty small bathrooms. I believe it's the double-wide trailer that I didn't do that bathroom in, but I could be wrong. As I said, I, I'm pretty sure I just didn't record it but again I could be wrong all right so here I decided they like green and so I made the bathroom with some green accents thought about doing the tile as green like the shower and I didn't like how that looked but I do like how this looked I think it turned out pretty cute decided not to go with tile in the bathroom and something that I have to get myself to wrap my head around is that a lot of bathrooms do not have tile surrounding them. <laughs> I don't know why in The Sims I always want to put tile in the bathroom, like on the walls. But I do. And I don't think I've ever lived in a home where the bathroom had tile like floor to ceiling. I have been in one that, you know, the bottom part was tile. So I don't know where I got this idea that, oh, the whole bathroom needs to be tile. <laughs> but I do that a lot, trying to get away from that, especially in the ones that are more modern, because they just, you, unless you're like high end luxury, they're, they're not tiled. So yeah. All right, and into the bedroom, I wanted this to be kind of an oasis. Possibly this couple has traveled or wants to travel. So they have some eclectic, eclectic stuff going on in there. Then here, I wanted to use this umbrella and the table. And I got it out here and went, why am I putting it in the front? So, moved it to the back and kind of created a nice little backyard area. As I said, I don't think I put gardening beds in this one, 
but I'm not 100% on that. Oh, I did. I did. Never mind. They all have gardening spots. <laughs> also, I didn't hook up the fences in, in these builds down below because when you lift them up, the fences will go with them. I didn't want that. So I went back after the build was done and hooked all that up so it looks, you know, legitimate and you can lock things and keep Sims out of your yard. And then you're just creating a cute little, you know, sitting area out front that the Sims can enjoy. And really, I like this trailer. This one's really cute. Simple landscaping. I didn't want to do a whole lot here. Uh, just because I, I pictured them as busy people, too. So, I do think that I may have gone a little too um, precise on this path. <laughs> Um, but you know, it's okay. We're just going to say they had somebody, you know, they hired somebody to come out and put that path in. Okay. <laughs> so instead of just, you know, throwing down rocks or something. So I also think i i think i put in some more trees maybe i can't remember i need to stop saying i did things that i'm not sure i didn't do <laughs> that's what i need to do all right so this is the double wide trailer and you can see me moving the roof there my original plan was to put like a covered porch in the back i did not do that i'm just saying that now i didn't so this one here, I tried to kind of model more after what a large double wide would be. I feel like it's a little big. Not sure I like it being quite this big, but at the same time it works. And this is another one that I have a little fun with a few things. I, I do show you the master bathroom in this one because I had fun with that one. But I did so many strange things with this kitchen. I'm going to apologize now if it looks like it's a little choppy for this build. I, yeah, I went back and forth doing this, doing that, doing this. I... Yeah, I changed my mind so much. And I think that was a lot of the time on this part of the build. Um, as I said, when, you know, this added another almost, what, half hour after I sped it up to the video. So I want to say I probably spent a good hour and a half just figuring out how I wanted to do this kitchen in this build. Sometimes you have that. Usually when I have that issue, I take a step back, take a break, and do something else for a while that doesn't involve my computer. But I think this was a situation of I was working on this probably in the morning before work and due to my current living situation I really can't do anything in the morning so that's when I sit down to do my builds and that probably is why I kept going <laughs> I'm like well I can't do anything else so yeah I mean to an extent I could I could have gotten up and done something else but not anything that necessarily would have cleared my creative mind and let it rest for a few minutes. So, so I just kept going and that's okay. I actually had to do that earlier today. I was working on this mansion build and 
all of a sudden I'm just like, I can't, I can't build anymore. <laughs> like I can't do it. So I, I played the game. So, you know, that worked. And that helped quite a bit because I haven't played in a while. So I started playing the Crystal Creations pack and, and it turned out pretty dang well. I didn't go back to building. I'll probably do more of that tomorrow, but it definitely like got me back into, okay, this is how the game is played. <laughs> this is how P the Sims are going to use this, you know, these buildings. So that helped. And then I, you know, recorded. So, and then after this, I'm just going to sit down and read a book for a little while, I think. All right. So with this house, I wanted it to be a kind of a bright, kind of funky vibe to it. And you can see I used a lot of the kind of burnt orange color. And I really do like this. I think it's got that fun, funky vibe. And it works well. So as you can see too, one t other tip I have when it comes to artwork, get on the gallery and just search art under rooms. And there's gonna be some artwork that you can put into your build that is not CC. And it's just, it, it's so helpful. I need to do it more. I think that might be the only one I did in this build, but I didn't use a whole lot of artwork either. There's a lot of windows in these trailers. <laughs> but it's definitely a good tip because we don't have a whole lot of artwork. I just wish there was a way that I could save those in the build by mode, not as a room, I guess. So I wouldn't have to go into my gallery. It'd be in the list, but I don't think there is. I, I haven't looked very hard. If you happen to know of a way to do that, let me know. If not, I need to start saving these as rooms. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> and just like, you know, marking them. So that I can easily go in and, and do stuff. I'm actually thinking about going into one of my old saves where I had a sim who was an artist. And if you've watched my art gallery video, the art gallery speed build, it was a throwback build. That one is what I had her play in. And so she was an artist with an art gallery and so many paintings. I should have put them all on walls because I had her doing, you know, like a lot of custom, you know, paint this view type thing. So I, I might have to go back and see what's still there that I can grab and, and put into some rooms to help. I know there's a few things. In fact, I think if you download my farmhouse build, or I'm not sure if I left it in the ranch build or not, because they're the ranch build came from the farmhouse build. Um, but the farmhouse should have some of her artwork in it because she was grandma at that point. Um, I was doing a legacy, a legacy game play with that one. And I think I just kind of got tired of that legacy. So I was started another one and now I've gotten tired of that one. So I think I'm going to just start over. I like to kind of play as myself as the matriarch. But usually I start myself out as an adult. So I think this time I'm going to go ahead and start myself as a child give myself some siblings, etc., some family, and, you know, go that route. I, I kind of did that once, but I didn't, I want to do it as like a save file that I can copy to use for other saves or new gameplay. 
I didn't do that. I kept going with it and realized, I'm like, oh man, I missed an opportunity. And unfortunately, I didn't think about it for a few months. And I had deleted, like, you know, backup things I had. So I couldn't go back and and fix it. So, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I, I've been going back and forth, too, about doing maybe some... Doing a Let's Play. Eventually here, I'm hesitant because I know in a month or two... I may end up with overtime at work and may not be able to do that. So not sure if I'm going to do that yet or not. I am also planning on starting another YouTube channel. For those who don't know, it'll be a history channel. So if you're into history, that might be one for you to check out. Nothing's up on it. I have the channel, but nothing's up on it. Once something's up, I'll link to it on my main page probably so you guys can check that out just something I'm interested in I do this more for fun the builds here but I'm hoping maybe the history channel I can make into something that I can kind of run as like a I don't want to say business because that sounds bad but you know have something with and, and it's also I have an interest I've always want, loved history and I wanted to be a history teacher unfortunately I was talked out of it by teachers my parents and my uncle being the teachers <laughs> okay or they went to school for teaching at least my father taught for a few years he went for history and music and when him and my mom graduated was when they were laying off teachers in mass. So my mom eventually got back into teaching preschool. My father worked, well, owned a comic book shop for a while and then worked in one until he passed away. So, yeah, I mean, I, I listened to them and part of me wishes I hadn't. But just because, you know, what I know now versus then, like, you know, having the history background might have been a good thing to start a YouTube history channel with. But I'm going to try anyway. And I do know research. So we'll see how it goes. Um, so anyway, back to this build. And as you can tell, I'm a little excited about the, the new channel, but... I am still going to be building for The Sims, so don't panic. Um, so anyway, this one again, it's still, I'm going with this, uh, you know, kind of funky vibe with all this. And I think I pulled it off. This bedroom, when you see the picture of this bedroom, it, it's just, it's awesome. I love it so much. And I'm not an orange person. Like, Orange is not a color I love, but I love this bedroom. <laughs> so if you're not an orange person either, you know, just appreciate it for what it is. Because that's, that's kind of what I do. And that's a lot of my interior design training is sometimes you, you, you have to be able to make things work that may not be your style, your colors, but you know how to put it together so it looks good. And that's kind of it. And I think a lot of people forget that because we see interior designers on TV who just do whatever they want. And that is not completely how a actual designer operates. To an extent, yes. <laughs> I don't want to say they don't put their, you know their mark on things but they do try to give the client what they want unless it is completely gaudy and gross and really doesn't look good they might you know stress that and go you know if you want that I'll do it but you know don't come back to me in six months and say it's gaudy and disgusting sign the paperwork here that says you won't do that so yeah there's that 
All right, so with this bathroom, I really like how this turned out. I put this cute little shelf in there, hung the bathrobes. I don't know why. I just, I like this bathroom. Also, those towels, I don't know why. I always feel like the towels are just very big on the single racks. So I size those down. Um, the other thing is these mirrors. I love putting the mirrors behind the the cabinets there. I also really like putting lights in the mirrors. Just something I like to do. And if you've noticed, I've started putting more rugs into bathrooms. So, you know, there's that. All right, so here's the backyard. I wanted to create kind of a privacy fence in area. I don't think in most of these I put gates in the yards or in these two I don't think I put gates in except for that one with a path oh no I did I did put one in here too so they could go out the back if you play in this just remember to lock the gate because I can't you can't designate the backyard as part of the home so I don't know if that I haven't played where there's been a fenced in yard so I don't know if the fence keeps them out or if you have to lock that gate and this is considered community space so keep that in mind not sure it was something they really planned on I, I think they really focused more on making you know rental homes and small apartment buildings than trailer parks or you'd have a rental lot that is one house, you know. Uh, I don't think they saw trailer parks being such an explosion like it was. At least for me. I, they seem to be some of my most popular videos. And I love building them. So, again, I'll probably do... Do a couple more at least. Don't know if they'll be, you know, this in-depth. But... Occasionally, you'll get one of these, you know, where all the trailers are done out of me. That being said, if you don't like the trailers I put in here, I have a floor plan, just shell trailers on my gallery you can download. I've uploaded a few that I did for other parks that are furnished, so I have a few options. And check out others. You know, you can always throw them in. One thing I do stress is, especially with my builds, I don't want anyone to feel like they have to keep what I put in there. They have to keep, you know, if it's a trailer park that you have to keep the trailers I put in there. Mix them up. That mo That's what makes them interesting. And we all have different styles of building. And, you know, I think it's great when we can mix them together. I really wish they would allow an easier way to add, like, trailers. It's almost like they need to do, I don't want to say a trailer pack, but, like, an update where maybe you can mark it as, like, it'd be a room, but it includes the whole trailer instead of having to do the trick of knocking down walls. Uh, I think that would be great. Or you could list it as, you know... Whole, you know, rental home and have just one so you can plop down different ones on different lots. I think that would be a cool update. But we'll see. It might not be something they can do either. So it would be nice though. All right, guys. So here is where I start working a little bit on landscaping. And, oh, finishing this trailer. I didn't realize I recorded this part. Sorry. <laughs> I thought that I was jumping right into uh, landscaping. But that's okay. But finishing up this trailer, adding in, you know, the stairs. I debated about not making that little side room. What I did with that room really was... I wanted the option of you could put a laundry room there, but I didn't want 
you know, I wasn't using the laundry day pack. So that's what that room is there for if you want to put laundry in. I'm trying to do a few more builds that have a laundry room. All right, now on to <laughs> what I was going to talk about before, which is landscaping. So this is where I'm putting the pond for fishing. And I want to say right now, I'm going to stop recording very soon and put in all this landscaping and you're not going to be able to see me do it. It took me three and a half hours just to finish up this landscaping. But, but I promise you it was worth it. And at some point you're just going to see, you know, the finished build because that's coming because the video is over <laughs> or at least it will be. And there we go. All right. So I do kind of showcase all of the landscaping I did here. I wanted to show you guys what I kind of did. I'll be honest. I was just getting worn out with this build <laughs> by the time it was done. But I never intended on landscaping these back hills anyway. Really, not a lot anyway. So it really wasn't too bad. <laughs> so as you can see after all this, I did a lot. And I love how this looks. I, It feels country to me. All right. So I'm going to let you guys look at all the photos of what I did. And I will be back in the end. shot I wanted to show off the waterfall that took me an hour and a half to figure out <laughs> so that is part of the reason the landscaping did not get recorded is I played with that and though it's not perfect I think for my first time building a waterfall it turned out pretty dang good so as you can see it's some sort of holiday the houses are all decorated I don't know what was going on it's my build world I, I don't keep track of it so, anyway, I do hope you guys enjoyed this build and enjoyed kind of little spin on a trailer park that I did with this one. And I do hope you play in it. If you did like this video, please make sure to hit the like button so that I know you like it. All right, I am going to let you guys go and I will see you next time. Bye now. <laughs>